Thank you, Alex. And in one month, FEMA's presence in Vermont will be much different. This morning, we've got by the numbers a look at just how much money has already been pumped into projects. Fox 44's Matt Holderman reports from hard-hit Montpelier. Almost exactly two months ago to the day this sidewalk I'm standing on in downtown Montpelier, you couldn't stand on it. It was completely underwater and a lot of these businesses next to me were completely devastated. This was the case throughout much of the city and surrounding towns as we know. But fast forward to now, you can see plenty of recovery efforts coming to fruition in downtown. A lot of businesses now fully reopened and new ones reopening day by day returning the city to a little bit of that sense of normalcy. We're doing great. Um, we're so happy to be open. One of the first stores to reopen was Bear Pond Books near the corner of Main and State Streets. We first showed you the impact to their business in late July and then shared their story again the day before they reopened on September 1st. Co-owner Claire Benedict says they received a lot of support to help them reopen this fast, both at state and local levels. I didn't know what to expect. I've never had to do anything like this before. It felt like a really long time while it was happening, but I think we did really kind of power through pretty quickly. And they weren't alone in receiving help. Data from FEMA and the Small Business Administration shows as of yesterday, September 11th, exactly two months since the floods, they've doled out $54.7 million to help impacted Vermonters. More than $17.7 million of that has been through FEMA's Individual and Household Assistance Program, while another $18.6 million in SBA loans has gone to a combined $300 194 individuals, many of them being business owners. A lot of that money has gone right here to the heart of Vermont's capital city. And while it has helped a number of stores reopen, many are still on the path to recovery. Montpelier still has a long way to go, even with a bunch of stores opening and stuff. There's a lot of you know, clean up and there's a lot of empty storefronts right now and I know they'll be back soon. And for those who still have not applied for that federal assistance from either FEMA or the SBA but are still interested in doing so, there are still four disaster recovery centers that you can go to to get help with those applications. One of them is just down the road a little ways in Barrie. There's also one in Waterbury and one in Barton and then another in Wardsboro. You have until October 12th to apply for that help both from FEMA and the SBA. But for now, reporting in Montpelier, Matt Holderman, Fox 44 News.